two more twists to do. But this isn't hard at all to do, so I'm glad I tried it. I want to try the rice water too at some point. So many things to try. <laughs> I'm almost done actually. This part is done, so I only have like three more. But it did take me hours to do. Because I'm slow and I have a lot of hair. So, yeah. I've been doing this for hours. Like at least two hours. But I only have like two more to do. So, yay for that. And we'll see what happens with this twist out or twist. It's almost small enough for many twists. I might just leave it as twist and leave that as the style this week and not even try to do a twist out. You'll see how it looks when it dries. Because it's just conditioner. I don't have any side and cream in here, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I think it is kind of a lot of work, but I think it's with it and I'm not gonna do it that often. So for every three or four months I can do this. Especially if I have less damage at the end. Yeah it seems to. I mean I didn't use it to detangle like finger detangle and I've used it like in my main usual detangle but no problems using it right now. This is my first time using it too so the tea tree thing is my first time really using it too. But you can see it's, you know, no snags or anything. So I think it's good. But the Jane Carter leave-in is also really good and I'm using that under it, so. I know she's a stylist, so it's going to be funny because I'm going to be Showing her product and then talking about how I'm done with stylus. And Jane Carter is a stylist. So I hope she doesn't get mad. But right, Let's see what's going on with this one. Mm, it's pretty good. I'm going to just take the end off, I guess. Down to two more. Not even. How about that, like combing <laughs> every aspect, even just parting is a challenge. Thanks. <laughs> Almost done. Two more and I'm done. I only did it small because I wanted to do the trim and it's my first time doing it. So I didn't want to have too much in my hand to like cut. So for trimming this is a reasonable amount to snip. But this is much smaller than I would usually do twists. I wouldn't usually do twists this small at all. I do chunky, super chunky twists usually. That's what I'm thinking since they're so small, maybe I can just leave them in and just do a ponytail or something with it. Instead of trying to do a twist out that might fail on me. Because I'm not good at twist out twist outs. Twist outs for me are like super unpredictable. Now I haven't tried any main choice stuff. I kind of want to because I like the ingredients, but just so many lines, it's like Shea Moisture, it's just too many lines, I don't know what to choose. And then a lot of them have mixed reviews too, so I'm just kind of scared, but when I get done trying everything else, then 
I'm going to try main choice. I do want to try it. So, hey, pursuit of joy. I'm just dusting. I tried to come on. <laughs> so, I don't know if you dust, but that's what this struggle is about. So, I'm just trying to. I'm almost done, thankfully. I'm just trying to give an even part before I start twisting. Ugh, I'm ready to be done. I'm trying to think about that last bit, last one that I have to do. I'm really happy that I did this though. Conquered my fear first of all. <laughs> and second of all, it's going to be good for my hair. And I got some twists and twist practice in the mix too. So I was thinking about trying this with a styling cream instead of the conditioner. So that's something else I could try. I decided to do the conditioner because that's what everybody else does. So it's the safest bet. Plus I can... See what's going on with my hair better, probably. Yep, one more. The styling cream might be better for twists, but maybe the conditioner is better for trimming. Yep, just gonna do this and be done. Oh, it's one more. <laughs> I'm not a twist person, really. Because it takes me forever to do. But. Since I've started dusting, that means I'm going to be twisting more, so maybe I'll get better at it. Not so much product from before, I probably don't need to put any, but I'll put a little bit. Let's put it like this. So, yeah, it doesn't smell that great. It just smells weird, but some people like it. Some people don't like sweet scents. So if you don't like sweet scents, then you might like this kind of herbal scent. For me, it isn't super heavy. It's just not my favorite kind of scent. I like sweet scents. So give me the candy and the honey and molasses and... Those kind of scents, like Camille Rose and she sent it. But it's not that bad that I can't use it, like the Jane Carter. Plus, I think the Curls to Gold smells nicer. This last one is trying to give me trouble. I think the Curls to Gold line smells nicer, so you can probably try that one. Probably should have done this the other way. And the Curls to Go line is more of a sweet scent, like a typical sweet scent thing. Okay. Just 
kind of find the middle. Oh, that honey. Yeah, that honey one is really hard for me to use. Like, I used it once, and I used it with the latte, and it frizzed, it fizzed, like, foamed in my hair. And I haven't touched it again since. But I did promise my subscribers that I was going to try it again. So that's on my list to do this year as well. But was it sticky? I don't remember if it was sticky or not. Like, I used it under the latte, but I just remember that it foamed in my hair, which was weird. But I didn't use it by itself. Hey, here, Nick Shell. I was just dusting my end, so I'm on the last one. So I'm like twilling right now. So yay for being almost done. This one is the one that's like giving me. This is like the most I've had to cut for the whole trim. I can figure out where to, uh, woo. But one thing about cutting is that once you cut it, it's done. So, yeah, I did it. I'm finished. <laughs> so, and I have like a twist out something happening here too. So. So I guess that's it. Thanks for keeping me company. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Yay, first dust. So, bye. See you around Instagram.